So this is section 7.5 of your textbook. It's on complex fractions, okay? What a complex fraction is, is a, I'm gonna highlight a little bigger, a fraction that has numerators or denominators containing one or more rational expressions. So it's little fractions all mixed up into big, one big fraction, okay? So the way that we're gonna do these is we're gonna multiply each term, so each little fraction by the least common denominator. So let's go in and let's circle each of our denominators that we have. So b2 and b squared, okay? The least common denominator, okay? Well, we have two is the only number, so we know we're gonna have a two. And we went over previously about how b and b squared, we're going to write the highest power, okay? Because b is in b squared, right? b times b is b squared, so there's a b. So if we multiplied each term by 2b squared, even the one that really didn't have a dog in our fight, right? Because it's its denominator was one, right? So let's see what happens. We're going to cancel out now. So we have two B squared over B. So that leaves us with one B up top, right? And our two stays alone, our one stays alone. Our twos go away there. On the bottom, our B squared go to just one. And then we didn't have anything on the bottom with our one. So let's see how we are left. So 2b times 1 is just 2b plus 1 times b squared is b squared over 2 times 4 is 8 minus 2b squared. Notice. You no longer have a complex fraction. You just have a fraction. That's going to happen every single time, okay, that you have that going on. If you have a complex fraction, when you multiply by the least common denominator, that's going to get rid of your fractions, okay? So let's look to see what we can do to this. We can take out a B, okay? And on the bottom, we can take out a two. Didn't help us any, right? So we can love it like that, but this is, so once we're right here, if you notice this is the difference of two squares. So we can say, Square root of four is two, square root of b squared is b plus minus. We can cross out and get b over two times two minus b, okay? Okay, least common denominator. Let's go in and circle them or underline them. Okay, so they're the same, right? We have x, x plus 1, x, x plus 1. So that's what we're going to multiply everything by. Okay, and we're gonna go cancel out. So we have x plus one, our x's, and again, x plus one, and our x's. So let's see what we're left with. So all of them should have a one in our denominator, right? They all went away, they all canceled. Okay, so we're left with x times x, that gives us x squared. I got that from right here, x times x minus, 
one times x plus one over x squared plus one times x plus one. Again, we no longer have a complex fraction. It's just a fraction. It's just a rational expression. So we have x squared minus x minus one. Okay, all I did was minus x minus one. x squared plus x plus one. Okay. There is nothing, we cannot factor this. The only factors of one are one and one, right? So we could factor this. No, we can't. So we get that, okay? Let's look at this one. Okay, so if we're gonna go to all of our denominators and we can factor this one, signs are different, three and two. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna say, okay, I have an x plus three, x minus two, x plus three, x minus two. So Everything accounted for one time, right? X plus three, X minus two. So go in and multiply everything by that least common denominator. And cross out. And both of these cross out, right? So we're left with four times x minus two. We're left with two times x plus three minus, okay, so all of this went away, minus one. So I get four x minus eight over two x plus six minus one okay neither one of those can be simplified where it helps right we could take out a four but it wouldn't help so we just have that, okay? Last one, we are going to look at all our denominators and say, well, the highest one is x squared. Our highest exponent is x squared. Okay, so we can't do anything with the first one, but it's already um, has a denominator of one, right? This one, we're left with an X. This one, we're just left with ones. X, ones, okay. So we have X squared minus X minus two. We have x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay, let's see if we can factor that. Two and one would give us negative one in the middle. X and X, our signs are the same and both negative. Two and one would give us three in the middle. We can cross out. 
x plus 1 over x minus 1. And that's our answer. Okay, so complex fractions, what we need to know is that we multiply by the least common denominator. That gets rid of our fraction in the numerator and our fraction in the denominator. So we just have a regular fraction, um, a regular um, rational expression. And then we just try to factor it if we can. If we can't, we get to quit early, okay?